Why do we read in Mincha about Arayot? Mincha, we're so angelic. We didn't eat for close to 24 hours. We're wearing white. We feel so close to Borei Olam. And what do we read? Mincha of Yom Kippur. Read about the Arayot, the immoral and the forbidden relations. Says Tosafot, unbelievable Tosafot. You can't make this up. I wouldn't make this up. Tosafot says it. He says, why do we read about the Arayot on Mincha? Because the ladies come to shul dressed bishvil kavad hayom in honor of the day. We're reading about the arayot on Yom Kippur because ladies are coming to shul dressed nice in honor of the day, and a guy might by mistake do something wrong, see something wrong. We're talking about Am Yisrael on the holiest day, and still. Look how careful Hachamim are with the Kedusha of B'nai Yisrael. And parenthetically, I'm not telling anybody what to do. Everyone's on their own level and everyone's growing beautifully. But if a girl really wants to do herself a favor, and she's coming to go hear the shofar on Rosh Hashanah, but she's not dressed modestly, you'll do many more mitzvot by not coming to shul than by going to shul and hearing the shofar. And that is a fact. You do many more mitzvot. Please don't come to shul. Because many people could fall. And you're not doing any mitzvah do right. You don't have to say kiryat shema bizman. You don't have to pray the amidah in shul. You don't have to hear the Torah. You don't have to answer keter. You don't have to hear the shofar. You have to be sanua. That's your mitzvah do right. You want to be careful and you want to grow and help others grow and bring the geulah, you could do that by staying home. And look what Tosafot says, look how careful we have to be. And that's why we're reading about the Arayot. And according to that, it's beautiful. We're reading about the Arayot. And we read about Yonah, a city that was going to get destroyed because of the Arayot. A city that was going to get nehepechet, turned upside down. Because Bore Olam hates Zenut. Hashem hates immorality. Hashem hates promiscuity. Hashem loves tseni'ut. Hashem loves tahara. Hashem loves kedusha. And when a person taps into kedusha on the holiest day of the year, you have no idea what you're doing for yourself.